So we all know that schools are teaching coding, robotics, and all sorts of other awesome things these days that I'm very jealous that we never had when I was a student. This isn't restricted to school-age kids either. In fact, new Osmo Little Genius Starter Kits is targeting ages 3 to 5 and transforms your tablet into an early learning tool. Uh, Tablets can be tricky things when parenting, especially when setting rules around how often your kids can use it. At least with a tool like this, you're joining education with fun in a way that will improve your child's pre-reading, storytelling and fine motor skill development. The reason this is so much better than letting your kid go nuts on Candy Crush is that it's real life learning and what you do in the real world triggers what happens on the iPad. So you won't be raising digital zombies, it's fully interactive with hands-on learning. It's made in partnership with Marbotic who are a leader in creating playful experiences in early learning. They've previously partnered with big names in children's educational entertainment like Sesame Street. And I've got to say, if it's good enough for Elmo, it's good enough for me. In the starter kit box, you'll find the Osmo base for iPad, plus downloads of, for the four game apps you'll be using. There are a massive 38 of the silicon sticks and rings that are used in the games and 19 costume packs. There's one silicon mat to protect your table and the items you'll be using. And this might be the most well thought out part of the package. Stackable storage containers to keep it all in. How's that for thinking? Usually you'll buy something like this and you'll be rushing to the freezer to finish that tub of ice cream so you can use it for storage. Nope, not here. This is great for your brain and your waistline. You won't see that in the ads. As far as the setup goes, I'd say they've made it so easy your child can do it. But let's face it, the truth here, they've actually made it so easy that us parents can do it. I find that is a very important part of any technical toy these days. If mums and dads look at it and say too hard, there's a good chance the kids won't be getting it. I can honestly say it's super easy to set up and they step you through every single part of the process. The Osmo camera device fits over the top of your iPad or tablet, place where your camera is. How it works is it scans the table below your upright device so that what you change in that area adapts to the screen and plays out live. The games you play will help you learn in different ways. In ABCs, you build letters with sticks and rings that are provided. What you create is shown on the screen with a word that starts with the letter, and Mo the Monster interacts with it. This is great fun for pre-readers in the house to practice with over 300 words. It's all about letter recognition, expanding young vocabulary, and learning phonics. Costume Party allows the child to interact with style and clothing. There's a character on the screen and you add the clothing to the table where you can also choose to paint it different colours on the screen. The more fun the outfit, the more fun you'll have interacting with the character. Dare I say it, this game reminds me a lot of the Barbie game that we had on the Commodore 64 when I was growing up, where you could pick the outfit for different occasions. I may have played that game more times than I'm happy to admit. Squiggle magic is probably the most impressive for me though. You use these sticks and rings to create anything you want, then the system makes it come alive. This is amazing technology that for those kids who may not be drawing yet, it helps them use creativity and teaches about emotions. For example, at some stage you might be asked to create a face that looks happy, so it's teaching them emotion. Stories is another one. This is more mixing and matching costumes, but the idea here is to find solutions to the many obstacles that pop up through multiple adventures. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure story full of junior-targeted problem-solving using super-advanced technology. Make sure you look at the box to see if the Osmo you're purchasing is for the iPad or the Amazon tablet. The box I have is the iPad required to play on the bottom left-hand side panel under the list of what's in the box. There's around 12 games for the Osmo, so take a look around through the other apps you can download and packs available that include well-known brands like Hot Wheels, uh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Disney Princesses, The Incredibles, and there's a brand new one for Frozen 2. It's an add-on that it's going to sell out this Christmas with the popularity of the new movie. Uh, Some of these add-ons require you to buy them at uh, stores because they have different items that come with it but some actually use the items that come with your starter pack 
I think Osmo are under a really good thing here. Not only are parents conscious of how often kids are on devices these days, they want their kids to be doing something worthwhile while they're on them. This ticks all the boxes of being educational and fun. It's got the backing of people much more qualified than me, people who are educators in schools across the United States and have already adopted Osmo into the classroom, and they're starting to be a big pickup in Australian schools now as well. If you want to check out the list of compatible devices, head to DocuDarko com and remember to subscribe on YouTube for more great content. Thanks so much for watching.